all right folks so in this video what we will do is we will continue our series on eight-way protocol and in this one what we will do is we will integrate a fully functional lang graph agent with the eight-way protocol so first uh, before going into the code i will take you through what the flow looks like in terms of each of the components of our implementation so at first we will have a agent so this agent is nothing but a lang graph agent and that agent has a tool that is stabili web search tool so currently i have directly integrated the tool uh, using the LangGraph agent but yeah in future I will try to see if we can integrate this tool as a MCP. What this tool can do is it can go to the web and it can bring out the information which is not available to the model right so that is what this tool looks like using this tool we will build the agent and the agent will have a response format right so which is very important like it will have a status so using this status uh, we will send uh, the intermediate outputs to the end user and the status can be of three type one of them is a completed when the agent kind of finishes the execution of the task for which it has been called for so that state what we call as completed then it has a state called input required where the agent needs further input from the user right so during the interaction with the user the agent can ask for more input so that time the status would be input required and if the agent goes into any error state so it will also give the status back as error right and then we will have the message so once we build this agent so then we will build the agent executor so this agent executor is nothing but it will wrap the agent and also it will stream the results right so we will implement the streaming logic not only at the agent end but we will also need to implement that using the agent executor right and in between it will uh, have the intermediate status like is the task complete or not does it require a user input and whether it's continuously doing the current work and intermediate outputs which are being generated from this these states so that we will store in an event queue so to keep track of the how the agent interactions are going on right and then once we build this agent executor then we will build the server so in the server we will import this agent executor and using the agent executor we'll get to know what are the skills of the agent then using that agent skill we will build the agent card and that we will uh, expose to a public well-known agent.json url and after that we will kick off the server right so once uh, that is done then we will have the client so in the client what we will do is, is that the client will interact with the server and then at first the client will check whether the streaming is enabled uh, for the agent or not if the streaming is enabled and also if the uh, interactive loop feature is enabled then the client kind of interacts with the user interactively in a loop then it can like get the user input and if further inputs are required then it can also ask the end user and based on that once the client receives a correct input from the user then it will build the request payload after that it can send the request back to the server then the server will respond back with correct messages which if it is uh, at a completed state then the client will send back that message back to the user right so this is what the whole flow looks like now let's go into the coding part and see how uh, this each of this component looks like so in the same github repo you will now have a folder called a2a lang graph and inside that we will have this four components so let's go through each of these four components one by one right so first we have this agent dot py and inside that i as i mentioned like we will have a response format so this response format kind of validates what the agent returns and it kind of generates a structured output or a structured status based on the agent reply and this message which is nothing but the message that will be shown back to the user right and after that we will create this tool so in case you don't know what this tool creation looks like and how the lang graph works so you can go back to my lang graph playlist that what we'll do is we will implement this 
class which will be the class for the agent so we are naming it as our app agent then we are creating the response format instruction right so using this instruction the agent will get to know which status it needs to yield at what point of time so after that we will implement this init method where we will initialize the llm and using this app which we will now implement so that we will initialize and we will create a graph out of it after that we have started creating this app function where we use this create react agent of langgraph there we provide the model the tools the name of this particular agent and what would be the prompt for this agent and what is the response format right and as we are interacting with the agent or we kind of store the intermediate results so for that we will create a check pointer using the in memory store that what we'll do is we will implement this stream method in this stream method we will send the a user query and also the session id and based on that we will create at first the config so in the config we will use this session id and we will get back uh, this config and then we will create a input message and after that we can start implementing the streaming logic so inside this streaming loop what we'll do is we will pass the inputs the config and then we will get back the response right so we'll get back the item and we will always use the last message so once we get that then we will check like whether this message is of type of ai message or there is a tool call present or not and if there is either a ai message or a tool call then we will yield this response this will mention that the task is still not completed and it does not require a user input but the content looks like the, now the agent kind of decided that there is a requirement for tool calling so it will go for a tool call so then we have another branch where we check if the message is of tool message or not so that means the tool has responded back with a message so we will say that the task is still not completed it does not require a user input uh, tell you that it's doing the web search right so currently it's doing the web search and based on that after some time the result will be generated right or if the message is not of type of ai message or tool message then we will yield this response by calling this final response method right so using this config we will get back the state and using the state we will get back the structured response right so that we are storing inside this variable which is structured then we check like if the status from the structured message is completed or not if it is completed then we will mention that the task is completed and we don't need any user input and the content will nothing but the structured response message right so that we will send back from here right and after that if the status is either input required or error then we will say that the task is not completed it requires a user input and also we fetch the message from the structured response and that we send back as content and after that we have a final return so then we finally call this return method so this will be only called when the structured response is equals to error right based on that we will yield this message where we kind of send the content as unable to process the request at this moment please try again right so this is kind of a fallback message which we sent from here right so i hope with this we got the understanding what we are doing inside this agent.py we are basically creating a lang graph agent so there we are integrating a tool and after that we are implementing this stream method we are kind of checking the structured response and based on the structured response we check whether it's either in a state of completed or user input or error right and based on that we send back the response response from the agent to the client right then we have this agent executor file then we kind of import this app agent which we created in this agent.py and after that we kind of implement this agent executor right so you can see we are creating this class which we are calling as langgraph agent executor and it's inheriting from this agent executor and then we are kind of uh, initializing the agent and then we need to implement this execute and cancel method right so at first we get back the user input and also we uh, kind of get the task uh, from the context so this execute function kind of receives context and also the event queue and then we kind of start streaming right and in the streaming we kind of pass the query and also the context id from the task right and then we check if the event 
is related to is task complete and not if the task is uh, successfully completed then we send back this artifact so there we kind of mention what is the task id what is the context id and we kind of create a new text artifact and we kind of send back this result right and also we mentioned that this is the last chunk because the task has already been completed right and we also kind of uh, stored that in the event queue with this additional uh, details right so uh, then what we check is if there is any user input that is required or not and based on that we create a new artifact and that we send as a task status update event right and that we also add back to the event queue right and here also we kind of mention that this is the final output because until and unless the user kind of sends a new input this is where the agent execution stops and after that what we do is we enqueue a status to update showing the status as ongoing work right so this is what we do here and after that we also implement this uh, dummy method which is cancelled right so with this we kind of implemented the agent and also we kind of wrap that agent inside this agent execute so once uh, that is done then we will implement this main.py in the main.py we will uh, at first create the agent skill this we have talked in detail in the last video so i will skip that and then using that agent skill we will create this agent card so the new thing which you can see see here is that the capabilities of this agent right where you can see i have mentioned the streaming equals to true and also the push notification equals to true right so then we will create the request handler then we will create the server and after that we will kick off that server using the uvcon.run method right so then we create this uh, client.py so inside the client.py what we will do is we will at first implement a method which is typically for building the message payload so th this takes a user input which is the text then it also takes the task id and the context id and then it sends back the message payload in the message format right so here you can see the role is user and it also sends back the parts so part is nothing but uh, it's a text part and then it sends the additional details like what is the message id what is the task id and what is the context id then we implement this helper function which will just print the result in a more prettier format using this uh, print json response so then we have these two methods one of them is a handle streaming and the other one is an interactive loop so this i will come back later on let's first go into the implementation of this main method right so inside the main method what we do is we create the dissolver using that we kind of fetch the agent card and we finally get the agent card and using that agent card we will create the client once the client is created then using this uh, agent card we check the capabilities of the agent and we check if the agent can stream or not and then we get back this variable right supports streaming right and using that we call this interactive loop and inside that we are passing the client and also the uh, boolean value of whether the agent kind of supports uh, streaming or not right so let's go to this interactive loop function now so uh, inside this interactive loop what we do is we create a user interaction loop which kind of goes on till the user kind of quits from the uh, sending a message right so here what we do is we create a while loop and this at first it takes the user input using a uh, prompt and then we get that query and using that query we check whether the users are sending exit or quit and if that is done then we come out of this loop and we kind of finish the execution right otherwise we kind of go and check if the agent supports uh, streaming or not and if it supports streaming then we call this handle streaming method right where we pass this client along with the query which we received from this input from. so inside the handle streaming what we do is we use this build message payload function which we discussed already and that is the first function which we implement here there we pass the text the task id and the context right so the text is nothing but the user input that we send to this handle streaming method and once the message payload is built then we using this message send params we kind of build the parameters and also we get a unique uid to create the id and after that we create this request right using this send streaming message request method 
right so once uh, that is done then we initialize all this value at the starting as none and then we kind of call this client send message streaming method right where we pass the request and then we get back the update from the server and then we kind of extract the context and task from the current update and uh, after that we kind of iteratively keep on calling this handle streaming method so inside this implementation what we do is we check whether there is a result present or not and if there is any result uh, present so then we update that value and also if we get back any context id and that we set as a latest context id right so if you remember we kind of started this as all this value as none uh, but if this intermediate update values are different then we kind of change the values of the task id and context id and if the status value is equals to input required or not right and then we kind of uh, set the value as input required equals to true right and then we kind of uh, check if any follow-up response is required from the user or not, not and then we get back the additional inputs from the user right using this input prompt right where we kind of ask the end user that agent needs more input and the user sends a follow-up message and that we again call this handle streaming method iteratively right so this is what we implement using the client method and now let's go and start executing this agent so then we will open this two terminal and you need to make sure whether you have activated the environment or not so uh, then what we need to do is we need to go inside this A2A LangGraph folder and after that what we can do is we can kick start our main uh, file and which will in turn start the server right so this is where the server got started we can uh, get this response from the server and then what we can do is we can start executing the client so what you need to do is uv run client.py and then you can start this right so you can see the messages that are going on so once we kick off this client.py we can see at first it's it has fetch the agent card and after that what we are doing here is we are asking the user for the input the user can either type exit or quit to come out from this loop or it can send a query right so we are dynamically asking the user and we are integrating that user input as a text and that we are sending back to our server right so now let me ask like who owned the last odi cricket world cup right so this is my question which i am sending via my client to the ada server right so you can see the at first it has got a request uh, in the server side a post request and then you can see whether it's uh, going for a tabulae web search and we are also getting the intermediate outputs right so which we are streaming here right so you can see we are sending this uh, text as an input then we got back a response which is uh, showing you that the tool call is required going for tabulae web search and then it's finally doing the tool call right it's showing you that tool calling doing the tabulae web search right and after that it will stream the updates which you can see here and it will show you this final response right from the tabulae web search like the australia won the last odi cricket world cup and also then it tells you the intermediate status using the streaming update that the task has been completed so then you can uh, ask further questions or you can simply quit and come out from this loop right and the uh, execution at the client's side will stop but you can again restart this process and you can further ask questions so i hope you find this video useful and you your concepts related to it where protocol with langraph is now cleared and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments we will try to come up with new videos in this a2a series in the future with this i will end this video thank you see you in the next one